you you called for this monster you called for you keep calling me all these you call me names you called for me okay you ser- like you you and you pressed it you know i pressed saying? it and then you don't want to deal see this is the problem and it's, and especially with like you know non-racial like non-african american mm-hmm. females mm-hmm. it's like y'all want black men mm-hmm. y'all want the six seven big dick niggas mm-hmm. but y'all don't want to deal with our trauma y'all don't want to deal with right. y'all don't want to deal with nothing else but that so why do you, you say that me, you don't date black what girls I'm saying to so you date is, your own race what i'm saying to you is yeah. you want to call for these men but i'm saying why don't you, you date don't girls wanna, in your own race then all you want to put it on my heart man i don't know who need to eat this bro who this for but you pussy stone cold ho straight pussy What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving, man. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, more importantly, you saw the clip. What's wrong with some of you guys, man? Look, Google a book first so you can find it on Amazon. What's wrong with some of you guys, man? This guy, I I know he would, with this clip, I hope it was something after this clip because what he said made him look completely stupid. Completely stupid. So let me get this right. That girl just, just pressed you and said, but you don't like black chicks. You said you don't date black chicks. So why don't you do, if you got a problem how we get doing you, why don't you date black chicks? And he did the consummate, I'm going to act like I ain't hear that and I'm going to just keep talking. <laughs> you, he, you know what I'm saying? If if you want to be a bad, you know, a bad buck for for, for a non black woman, you, you gotta take everything that go with it. Stop playing stupid. You know, you want the six, seven new with the big dick. Yeah. But you don't want to deal with our trauma. No, no, she don't. And she and she don't want to. And when she tell you to date your own, and you go, huh? Cause let me get let me tell you what this is. She doing to you which what you would do to the black chicks. And now all of a sudden it ain't fun when the girls you put on a pedestal do it to you. That's a you problem. Nothing's wrong with interracial dating, right? Nothing's wrong with inner in a cultural dating or, or, or nothing's wrong with that. But we gotta admit, you know, that it's the same way with you ladies who wanna dive be divestors. Divestors and women who interracially date, that's different. But when you, when you like, I don't mess with my own and I'm gonna mess with you, understand on that other side that you like so much, disrespect gonna come with the way with it. Because obviously you don't, you don't have actually love and respect for your counterpart in your own group. So cool. If, if, if you gonna date other people because you know, cause that's your sometimes preference, but your preference comes off as a fetish because you hating on your own. So guess what? You're going to be treated like a fetish. And if you ain't got a problem being treated like a fetish, cool. But if you got a problem with it, you might want to shut up. Now, the reason why I got to say this stuff is because a lot of times If you think it's a it's a better experience on the other side of the on the other side of the fence, and you have a legitimate reason to think that, and you go over there, go over there. But you see how in this conversation he's on the other side of the fence. And she called him out on his hypocrisy and he bitched up in this clip. I'm gonna just be honest with you. He bitched up in this clip. But you, if you deal with my trauma, I'm going to just forgive how you just did me. No, 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 no. And, and this is what I mean. Because I've seen guys and I've seen women date outside of the race. And their inner coon just washes over all the disrespect. They significant other disrespect them. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just so they're just joking. And you and you sitting there like you I, man, I, I done lost all respect for you, dog. Like I just can't I can't do this, man. I, I just, you know, 
They family disrespect you. I just, I just, they're so mean and disrespectful. So why are you over there? <laughs> oh, let me, let me tell you, I know why you're over there. Cause you've been spinning, spinning this, this, this story that being around the blacks is so bad and the black people like this and the black people like that. And they're uncivilized and uncultured. And now you're sitting at the table and they're calling you nigger. You know, five to one, grandma doing it, granddad doing it, <laughs> you know, mama doing it, dad doing it, the kids, hey, nigga. And then you're like, what? And your significant other just sitting there like, it's my, excuse my family. <laughs> and then you go, we need to go out and hang out with my family. You don't even like your family. Why would we go there? It's like, oh, okay. It's the same scenario. And I got to, I got to double back on something because th th this is a, this is where in general, this is a problem. And I might talk about this within the race, but I'm going to say it, uh, with this situation. And this time, a lot of y'all fronting like y'all hood. Y'all not really that hood. Y'all not really thugs. Y'all not really gangsters. Y'all not none of that stuff. Y'all, y'all are taking on a stereotypical hood image when you're not that. And then you want to get all the quote unquote sexual perks of it, right? But all the trauma that come with it, now you want somebody else to help you out. No, dumbass. No. If you want to, to, to look thugged out and be the big black thug image because you thought it got you some pussy, well, guess what? You take all of the, of, of the backlash that goes with it. That's, that's, that's how it go. Because this, to me, from where I'm standing and where I'm sitting right now, rather, this is what a lot of folks are doing now. You, you're taking the tattoos is an image. The jewelry is an image. The, 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 the persona is an image the way like now y'all are just y'all not necessarily yeah i gotta say y'all y'all black people y'all y'all 90s and early 2000s black people in blackface in 2024 that's what y'all are that's, that's all that y'all are and it doesn't even come off as genuine anymore it just comes off as a uniform you wear to, to, to hopefully get a certain type of response. And it's, and it's stupid. Because if he was really about that like that, he wouldn't have went all metaphysical and you need my trauma. No, when you look thugged out, don't nobody give a fuck about your trauma. Charge into the game and shut the fuck up. Give a damn about that. But this is what happens when you do something and it comes off that you're doing something with a with, with a nefarious intention, but you you mad because it comes off as with the black people, you know, I'm standing on being being gangster. With the non-black people, I'm a punk out. And as a guy, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's something that uh, normally the women do. But now it's like, hey, you wanted to be the black, be the big black nigga with the big black dick, and now you don't want to be treated like the big black nigga with the big black dick. Shut the hell up. It's stupid. I'm done, man. Tell me what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had. <laughs>